Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I have an after school and evening routine. We have just gone back to school after the summer holidays and I thought I would show you what our typical evening routine looks like. When we first get home, the children, the first thing they have to do is unpack their school bags, put their lunch boxes and water bottles by the sink so I can wash them up and they need to get changed out of their school uniform, get changed into some regular clothes so I can get the uniform in the wash and I will give them a snack and and I will also get them a drink. So if you are new around here, I am Claire, I'm 36 and I am a self-employed working mum of three. I work school hours Monday to Friday, um, but I usually have Friday afternoons off just to help me catch up with all of my mum jobs and things like that and do YouTube work too. So after school, is usually quite busy for me. I would imagine it's quite busy for every mother, but especially if you're a working mum, because you have got all the things to do that you would have been able to do in the day after school, because that's the only time you've got to do them really. Um, but I'm just getting the children a snack. My eldest is actually at football club today, so he isn't gonna be home until a bit later, but my younger two have had their cake. I'm sorry if you can hear them um, playing in the background, but um, they are also gonna have an apple. They're gonna share an apple. They did have some fruit, uh, as their break time snack and I give them fruit in their lunch but I do like them to have fruit as well as like a nice treaty snack when they come home just so that they can be a bit healthier really. Um, I am left handed and I always have trouble peeling apples. I, don't, I feel like I do it really cat handedly. Is it because I'm left handed? Should I invest in a left handed peeler? Let me know in the comments or am I just, or am I just doing it wrong? <laughs> am I just doing it really strangely? So this is a video that has been requested a couple of times by a couple of people so I hope that you do enjoy it. I hope that you enjoy seeing what we typically get up to of an evening. It's not our typical evening this evening because my husband is actually away overnight for work but it will still be largely similar to how it would go anyway. It will just be one less person in the house and one less person that I'm cooking dinner for. So as you can see, my children do need reminding and prompting on what to do when they get home from school. They haven't quite remembered to put everything away and everything by the bottom of the washing machine. So I've also put some washing on this morning before I went to work. I didn't have time to hang it out, so I'm gonna have to do that. This morning didn't quite go according to plan. I got up a little later than I planned and I spent longer editing my video than I had planned, which left me with less time to do other things. So I'm gonna have to do those jobs after work rather than before, um, but that's just the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? And what I also forgot to do on this day is wait to put the laundry on until my eldest came home because he's gonna have his smell sweaty PE stuff that needs to go in the machine as well so I will just pop that in later on after he's home and do a second load of washing. I'm also popping my work gloss in there and my work clothes. I wash those every day and I just don't have enough to do a whole load of school stuff and then a separate load of cloths so I just put them all in the drum together because I, I just figure why not? I just figure why not people are going to have opinions about that but this is just how I do it and everything is fine and everyone is fine. While I get on with my jobs around the house and anything else I need to do like starting to cook dinner the children will just play with their toys or they will watch a bit of tv go on their tablets or the eldest will go on his playstation but I do encourage them to play with their toys as much as possible over screen time. I'm just going to interrupt this voiceover in this very lovely video to give you a bit of a reality check. Um, they've been playing nicely for a little while. Now Charlie wants Leah to play with him and his game. She's not having any of it and all hell's breaking loose. So after sorting out the kids' little spat, I'm gonna hang out the washing that I put on this morning. I folded washing this morning and then this stuff wasn't quite dry so I've left it on there all day. Now it's nice and dry. My husband went to a stag do and they went airsoft shooting or something at the weekend. So that's what all the army camo gear is about. But um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly hang this stuff out and then I'll crack on with all my jobs that I have to do in the kitchen because the kitchen does need some attention. I wasn't organized enough this morning and all I did was empty the dishwasher. I didn't properly wipe sides down or load the dishwasher or anything. So before I start cooking dinner, I've got all that to do. And then I also need to wipe my bathroom over, which is another job that I do daily. 
and then I didn't even get to do this job in peace because my kids interrupted me with their little spat over who's playing whose game. Let me know in the comments, does anybody else's children constantly fight? He said he'd play my game, she said she'd play my game, now she won't, I've played her game now, he's not going to play my game with me and it's just like, oh for goodness sake, just hold up, uphold your end of the bargain please. You said you'd play a game with each other, now you both need to do as you said you'd do. Now I'm going to start on the jobs that I would normally have done in the morning, so I've got to load the dishwasher and then I will be washing up anything that doesn't fit in our dishwasher and drying it up so that I can then get on to washing up the children's lunch boxes and their water bottles so I can refill them for the next day. I fill up all of the lunch boxes with their dried stuff that doesn't need refrigerating the night before and I usually get the bits out in the fridge in the section of the fridge so I know just to grab them in the morning and then that way the only thing I have to make is their sandwich or put whatever I'm putting in as their main thing like a sausage roll with pizza or brioche roll or whatever it may be. Um, and then that just makes my morning a little bit easier. Now that my eldest is back from his football club, I can take out the washing that is done, which is my work loss on my two younger children's school uniform. Then I'm gonna pop his sports stuff in and anything he needs washing in to wash. I find that if I just get their uniform washed every day, then they have always got socks, trousers, jumpers, t-shirts, everything they need is on a constant conveyor belt of being washed so they don't run out of uniform with it all sitting in the bottom of the laundry basket. And while I'm doing all of this, I am instructing the two older ones to have their showers so that they are all ready for bed before dinner and we don't have to do it afterwards. But my youngest is only six, so she can't shower herself independently yet. So I will either do that before dinner or I will do it after dinner, depending on how much time I have. If my husband is home, he will quite often give her a shower so that I don't have to do it. Once all the lunch stuff is washed up and sometimes dried up but tonight I've just left it on the training board, I will start prepping the lunches for tomorrow. The kids have two sets of lunch boxes which makes it quite handy. So I'm just going to peel some fruit that I want from the next morning so I don't have to do it in the morning, chop any vegetables or fruit up that I'm putting in their lunches and I'll pop it all in the fridge and I will pack all the dry stuff into their lunch boxes just so that it's all there. I don't have to think about it in the morning and then I will get their snacks ready so Lily always has a banana or an apple and um, I'll get the apples out and keep them in the fridge for the boys and then I'll get their drinks ready and then I can start on my dinner. So once all the lunch prep is done and the kitchen is clean I can start cooking dinner. I hate starting to cook dinner in a kitchen that is cluttered and dirty so I do like to have it nice and clear for when I start cooking because it makes the clean up afterwards so much easier. I'm doing pitas tonight and it was really yummy, everybody enjoyed it. Usually whatever I'm cooking I will bung in the oven but I did it on the stove this evening and I only do that because it just makes it a lot easier for me to get on with things while in it is cooking I don't have to keep a constant eye on it but um it all looked like it was doing really well on the pan tonight so I just did it in the pan it's just been a really busy evening because I had so much to do before I could start on my evening routine so that's why having a good morning routine and being productive and ahead of yourself in the morning is so important because it just has a knock-on effect um but you know that all that being said I was sat down by nine o'clock and usually even on a good evening I don't normally sit down until nine o'clock anyway just because life is so busy and it's just you know the children are busy there's a lot so much going on it's just it's just family life isn't it that's just the way it is. So I do like to, as much as possible, have dinner at the same time as the kids all sat around the table, but there are a few nights a week where me and my husband will just sit down after they go to bed and eat dinner on our own, and that's really nice because it forces me to sit down with him, and then we can spend some time together. So we do do a mixture, and I dished up in the kitchen tonight just because it was easier, and then the cleanup's a bit easier because I haven't got loads of dishes to bring in from the table. And um, the children are also good at helping clear the table, but they are still obviously only children and the bulk of the work <laughs> is obviously left down to mummy.
After dinner, the children are usually allowed some form of pudding, whether it's something from the treat tin, or if it's an ice lolly or an ice cream, or a pudding yogurt. And then once dinner's done with, I send all the children off to have their pudding, tidy up, and to do their teeth while I started on um, finishing the kitchen again. It's just a never ending thing, isn't it? There's always dishes to do, washing to hang out or put on. It's just a never ending conveyor belt of stuff. But if you don't clean the kitchen after dinner, it really does have a knock on effect into the next day. So I really am trying to keep on top of it. Do I do it all the time? No, some evenings it's just not possible. But where it is possible, I do like to do it because there's nothing nicer than coming down to the kitchen in the morning and it just being nice and tidy and not having to do loads of dishes from the night before. So while the children are doing their teeth, I have also told them to be getting out their uniform for the next day. I find that to be really helpful as well, getting out their uniform the night before and having it all in one pile means that no one's going to say, I can't find this, I can't find that. They will just know where it is because it's in a pile already out on their bedroom floor, ready for them to put on in the morning. So one of the last things I do as the children are getting ready to get into bed is I'll run the hoover around. It's usually about quarter to eight, eight o'clock at this point. That's the aim anyway. And it just means I can make all the floors nice and clean so that we've got them nice and clean for the next day when we wake up. I don't always get to do it every single night, but today it definitely needed it because there was tissues on the floor where Lily had ripped up tissues, there was cheese on the floor from the fajitas, and most nights there was things to hoover up anyway because, you know, it's kids in its family life, mud gets tracked in from the outside, so yeah, most nights I do like to run the hoover around and it just makes the whole place feel so much cleaner and tidier when the floors are all clear and nice and clean. So we have a loose routine that we stick to and this is pretty much it. Once the children are in bed and I'm going to go say goodnight to them in a minute, usually I will finish the hoovering before saying goodnight to them. Sometimes I will pause the hoovering, go and say goodnight to them and then I'll come and finish it off. But once I've put them to bed and everything, I will do my workout. It's usually only a 15 or a 20 minute workout when I do it in the evening. If I want to do a longer one, I will do it earlier on in the evening. Just because once the kids go to bed, it's then like the only time that I get to sit down with my husband. And I still have to have a shower and everything. So yeah, I just have to prioritise things really. Um, at the moment, I am prioritising trying to lose the rest of my holiday weight. Um, and it's just hit and miss as to whether or not, <laughs> whether or not I'm going to have a good day or not with that. But um, yeah, I'm just finishing off here. This is just definitely the area where it just gets the most messy because the kids just drop food on the floor and I don't like leaving it. I hate leaving it. So I do whenever I hoover, I will pull that table out. I haven't filmed that bit this evening, but I do pull the table out and the bench and give it a good hoover so that there's not all bits and bobs of goodness knows what lying on the floor. In the background there I do have some boxes that need to go up in the loft that's why that area is looking quite cluttered because it's got some of my bits and bobs from summer but also other bits that I've taken down to replace with the autumn things from when I decorated and now I'm just going to go into the kids room and say goodnight to them although normally in the kids room however the two younger ones are in my bed tonight which is where they quite often end up anyway but I do hope you've enjoyed this evening routine if you have please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I hope to see you in my next video